Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here in nature. We got the birds everywhere. We just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Daddy's home. <laughs> okay, how to be patient when nothing is happening the way you want. Like literally, just before this video, I find out some of my sound equipment is broken and I need to go home right now and fix it. I'm really pissed off right now. Okay, well, before. So, typical. And I'm doing a video about patience. And I'm losing my patience. So I got a question about patience. How does one become more patient? Let's just, let's just. Woo. Breathe in that good ass prana, baby. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? So I'm going to share with you everything I've learned about being patient. Now, let's face it, a lot of us, we're in a hurry to get nowhere fast. We're not going anywhere, but we feel like we're going somewhere. So we're rushing and rushing, then we get stopped. We get stopped at a traffic light. Typical. What I've learned is that you got to get mad. Like just before this video, when I found out my sound equipment, some of it was broken. I got really mad for a second because I'm like, sound equipment, you are delaying me. Like I got things to do, people to see, places to go. So you are delaying me like by 20 minutes. That's 20 minutes of my life I'm never gonna get back. I'm actually like saying this to the sound equipment, thinking it's actually gonna answer me, okay? <laughs> and then I realize, okay, it's not talking back and I'm still losing my patience right now. I'm getting furious right now. <laughs> then I realize, Ralph, yes, it's time to go home and get a replacement. So that's what I did. I skated back home just now and I replaced it. And when I was skating, I was just reminding myself, you gotta surrender. You gotta face what's happened. You see, the reason why a lot of us, we get impatient, we lose patience is because we can't accept what's happened. My car has broken down on PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, right? A few times. Well, one time it happened, I was like, okay, I just want to go to the beach right now. And it broke down. I'm like, you're delaying me by like five hours, okay? I didn't actually end up going. But I remember that experience as just switching on the radio and listening to some classical music and surrendering to this experience like, it's happened. I got to deal with it. I'm not going to the beach today and it sucks. I got mad first and I'm like, okay, just chill out, relax. So get mad. It's okay to sometimes be impatient and really cross that you didn't get what you want. It didn't go the way you want. But at the same time, it's not going to change the fact that it's actually happened. So what's helped me along my journey is surrendering to the ebb and the flow of life and realizing that sometimes, just sometimes, you got to trust the timing of your life. Just because it's not happening right now, it doesn't mean it's never going to happen. Slow motion this side. Mm but I want it right now, Ralph. I want it right now, and it's not happening right now, okay? I get it. That's what I was like along my early journey. And sometimes I'm still like that. I'm no saint, but I realize that everything is in divine timing, divine order. And that seems kind of like a cop-out. <laughs> No, it's not, Ralph. What I've learned is that patience teaches you so much about why you should meditate a lot more, why you should become karma, because what is killing people on the planet? Stress. 
right? And if you're really impatient, you're going to get more stressed out. So nowadays, I'm just really chilled out, really calm, because like, I want to live till, how long do you want to live for, Ralph? Like till a thousand years old or something. Nah, not that long. Actually, why not more, right? We are immortal, by the way, okay? So I'm learning to trust everything. And it really, really goes into one of the seven hermetic principles, okay? They talked about this a little bit in the book, The Secret, but one of the principles of the seven hermetic principles is the law of rhythm. And rhythm is really about how you have seasons on planet Earth, okay? And just like we have seasons, weather-wise, we also go through seasons and we have to honor that. We're not going to get it how we want all the time. We don't expect every flower to bloom all year round. So why should we expect ourselves to do the same? Why should we expect ourselves to do the same? <laughs> so I just learned that you got to trust the timing of everything and realize that resistance makes stronger. Okay. Sometimes, have you ever noticed this? deep divers when you don't want something it magic it magically appears when you don't want something it magically appears it's like it the cat down the road just comes to you when you're like calling it it doesn't come when you don't want it to come it just lands on your lap right that's how it happens when you don't want something it comes why is this because you have surrendered you have allowed for that to happen in your life when you are sometimes just saying to a person sometimes in life, hey, do this, do that, do this, do that. Did your parents say that to you? So sorry. Don't worry about it. You probably don't want to do it. Now, a lot of people, you might be studying for exams right now and getting really impatient. You might be waiting for the woman of your dreams or the man of your dreams and getting really impatient. You may be waiting for that dream job. You may be waiting to get out of that shoddy situation you're in and be really impatient. Well, sometimes not stressing about it will actually bring, bring it into fruition. It will actually bring it into fruition a lot quicker. And that's what I've learned, that sometimes needing nothing gets you everything. Slow motion this side. Like, even making videos on YouTube. Nowadays, I just make videos. And it's just so fun and free. And there's not something that I need. I don't need more and more and more because that's the ego mind. I'm so happy being in the process of everything as opposed to just saying I got to cross the finish line right that's why a lot of us are really impatient because we feel our whole life is a race and we realize that actually it's not okay because life isn't a race a short sprint I see life more like a marathon and that means certain times you might have to slow down you might have to surrender you might have to accept that you may not get it the way you want every single time, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to work out for you. Seven day vegan challenge. By the way, so many people have been sharing with me their stories. I've got to start uploading them to YouTube, right? Like of the wonderful transformations. But what I learned when we talk of the plant-based lifestyle is that some people write to me saying, Ralph, I'm doing the seven day vegan challenge and Sometimes it's pretty hard. I miss cheese. I miss eggs. I miss beef and pork. And I'm here to tell you that don't worry. I've been a vegan for 13 years. And in the beginning, it was tough because I had to develop a lot of patience to say, okay, I was so used to eating certain types of food that I was letting all of that go. And I'm like, this is really hard right now. All I've got in front of me is just some cherries, right? But in the end, one step at a time, with more patience, I developed more strength, more courage, more self-belief that all I need is a bunch of grapes in my life and I'll be just fine. What I was actually, what I was actually trying to sing is all I need in this life of sin is me and my girlfriend, right? 
all I need in this life is really just a bunch of grapes in my mouth and we'll be just, and we'll be just fine, right? So realize if you are having a bit of problems in your food, in your diet lifestyle, when we talk of healthy living, getting those antioxidants down you, right? Realize that it's a process and you've got to be patient that certain times, patience is all about letting go. And it happens along our food journeys. We've got to let go of a lot of junk to create something even better. That's the beauty and the gift of patience. Life is a whole process as well. We can see from when we were small, open up the old photo album to where you are right now. Life doesn't rush, right? Your feet didn't just magically get, what size are you by the way? Size what? Nine? Size 11? Oh my gosh, you got big feet and a small body, just like me. I, actually, I'm quite tall, right? <laughs> so what I love to do is realize that life is a process. Look at babies and look how they grow. Every single day, they're growing more. But as humanity, so many of us, we expect to grow straight away. A lot of us, we don't want to do the hard work. We don't want to put in the effort. We just want it right now. Many of us in this matrix have become a society of instant gratification, right? There was a time when you actually had to put in some effort. Nowadays, everybody wants it just handed to them right away. And it's like, hey, you might be disappointed because life is a process. But day by day, you're going to see how you are going to be evolving, growing until you say, oh my gosh, how did that happen? Like, how did that tree just grow all of a sudden? Ever notice that? Like, we see trees every day and we're like, they're just growing right before our eyes and we don't even notice their growth. That's kind of how life that's kind of how like life is, right? <laughs> it's growing right before our eyes and it's all patient while it's doing it. Great things take time to build. Great things take time to build. Great things take time. Oh my gosh, it's just fallen apart to build, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. And what I've learned is that even when I'm diving deep, all of this wasn't built in a day. I've learned so much through patience because when you are getting really impatient, there's often a lesson there to be learned. A big lesson that you've got to slow down. You've got to say, okay, what is it I can learn from this patience experience? Like I learn a lot when I get sometimes impatient about my triggers, like what triggers me to get really impatient. And sometimes patience humbles you. Patience actually dissolves the ego. That is why so many people on planet earth are in a hurry to get nowhere fast because the ego is like, I'm going to cross the finish line and then you get a patience reality check. And the ego is like, oh, you're offending me right now. That's what patience does. It strips away everything of who you think you are and it shows you the truth of what is actually happening. Slow motion this side. Mm. I've learned that when I get impatient and the secret to be patient when things aren't happening the way you want is to see everything from a different perspective. Say, what can I learn from this experience? What is the takeaway? For me, just now before this video, the takeaway was actually, I need to buy some new equipment and that's what I'm going to do right? <laughs> but also it was that getting mad doesn't change anything. It just creates more stress. We don't need, we don't need no stress out here because we're in nature just getting high. Sometimes, and this is what I've seen along my journey. Have you seen this? That sometimes not getting what you want is actually a blessing in disguise. I remember when I was like applying to certain jobs thinking, gosh, I really want that job and I didn't get it. And I was really impatient to say, gosh, why not? I'm actually thankful because I wouldn't be here right now. So sometimes if you really want something so badly, okay, and you don't get it, the universe may be working in your favor. That's why 
you got to be very careful by saying that when things aren't happening the way I want, everything is terrible. The universe might be preventing you, preventing things from happening badly to you. So be, be thankful. Ultimately, patience has really taught me when things aren't happening the way I want that you got to focus on what you have. Because so many of us, when we're so impatient, we focus on what we want. And we highlight it with a little highlighter. Is it green? What color is your highlighter? Exactly. It's green. And you focus in on like, gosh, I'm in so much lack right now. I don't have this. I don't have that. And you become a whiner, a complainer. And it's great to complain, I do. But instead of complaining where you are, use that energy to move in the direction of where you want to be. Slow motion this side. So I always realize if I'm getting really impatient, chances are I'm not focusing on what I have. So if things aren't happening the way you want right now, don't worry, because the story isn't over. Oh no, it's not over. And it doesn't mean it's never gonna happen. But maybe, just maybe, this whole patience experience, this whole learning experience for you is showing you more about yourself. And without it, you wouldn't know who you truly were. What really pisses you off? <laughs> we are out here in the heart of nature, just being patient, with the beautiful birds surrounding us and the beautiful wind swaying around. Just, whoa, breathing in that. Good ass prana, baby. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> We're out here, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You.